and welcome back to Chulip. Yeah. No, okay, no newspaper jokes this guy. Uh, this time, guys, we've done, you know, we've gone past the comedy rule of, like, seven. Well, here, you may want to make just one more, because this is the last time that Dad's going to read the paper to us. Oh or that we're going to ask Dad to read the paper to us. Spoilers, oh, dude. Now there's so yeah. much hey. pressure. <laughs> That's right, you awake the next morning and he's just gonna read the Bible. <laughs> uh, son, did you see that they took Calvin and Hobbes out of the paper? That made me sad. Uh, <laughs> he just starts reading the obituaries every morning instead. Oh, jeez. Alright, so this is the message I've been waiting for. It says that Dr. Phil stole something from the lady at the snack shop and has made his new invention. I'll never watch his show again. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the uh, thing that makes it so you can kiss him. Uh, Dr. Phil? Ha! More like Dr. Phil, my prescription. <laughs> but we're not going to pay attention to that. You remember last time, they said there were zombies? We're going to go see those zombies. I don't think you should. That seems like a <laughs> bad plan. No, it's great. Listen, it's the sure. best plan Listen, Jorps, alright, you and me, we go back a long time. We've known each other for, what, like six days or something? And, like, right. You've had a lot of bad plans in that time. Uh, this is definitely the worst. Look, Grim Reaper's there, he's just watching us. And here, well, not quite a zombie, but the voodoo doll comes out. Oh, Voodoo Vince, HD remastered, in stores now. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. If you kiss a photo doll, does that mean the person, like, behind it feels loved? Yes. It's a double kiss. It's a combo. <laughs> voodoo, the voodoo doll will just run around and just randomly become prone. That seems kind of boring. <laughs> yeah, it's not as exciting. And the Grim Reaper just likes to watch. He's a <laughs> That's creepy. He, yeah, he's gonna watch you guys have hex. He starts licking his <laughs> sight. We're like two minutes, two and a half minutes into the video, and I already want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's called collaborative fiction, Tayok. <laughs> wow! Five whole dollars from the voodoo man. How come a fucking straw man has more money than anyone else? Anyways, there's the Grim Reaper. He can't move... Uh, over these gravestones that he's stuck on, so I'm just gonna wait for him to disappear. To you know, wait for morning. If you're asking me, like, <laughs> how can Straw Man get all this money? Let me direct you to a little thing called political cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that it's safe, let's uh let's investigate what got stolen at the snack shop. God, that hero cola, uh, hero cola mask or. Logo is just the Coca-Cola mascot. But, ah, shh. Hey, no one noticed. But, uh, it seems that Mrs. Plum can't talk to us. Oh, uh, what's well, the matter? Weird. Dr. Phil got your tongue? <laughs> that would be really fucked up. But that's what we're gonna find out today. I hope it's something high concept, but it's probably gonna be your dentures. Well, we'll find out. Hey, but Just gonna sit here, and we're gonna smoke Dr. Phil out. <laughs> we're gonna wait for him. Actually, if the bath is open, there's another thing we can do before Dr. Phil comes out. Just requires a little bit of money. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're buddies, but he still makes us pay for a bath. <laughs> hey, he's got to run a business. But now, be very quiet. Don't don't tell Leo. <laughs> so you have to sneak by him by going slow. Otherwise, he'll notice that you're trying to leave <laughs> naked. But now we're free, baby. Oh yeah, society cannot tell us what to do, buddy. <laughs> the world <laughs> is ours. 
Now hopefully the cop doesn't find us because this is a crime. I don't want a crime stamp. I'm too young to die. But <laughs> you'll remember that we met someone who's into figure drawing. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> if you wait until nine, he'll come out to draw. Oh, well, that one was a dud. Maybe next time. I'm not sure I like this turtle anymore. <laughs> I told you guys he's a weirdo. There it is. <laughs> Got him. And then the cop, like, runs into the room and shoots you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how he pays us for the figure drawing. A uh, domo to you two. Oh, wow, that's some good pay. Oh, my. Oh, boy. Anyways, out of here. We got to get our clothes back on. So your biggest payers so far are a wicker man and a <laughs> skeevy ass turtle. Yeah. But don't worry, that'll change. Welcome to society, Tayok. <laughs> and we just gotta sneak by him one more time. Because we don't want him to know that we were out there. Well, what happens if you get caught down? What's he gonna do? Uh, he does damage to you. Oh, okay. He's like, hey. You trying to go outside naked, and then he like makes fun of you, and that's why that's why you lose your health. He's like, "Oh, your legs are so skinny." He's like, "Ah, oh, I'm insecure." Uh, <laughs> he's gonna turn you away and put your clothes back on. Yeah, that was a a real good bath. <laughs> so if you do the the regular bath, uh, or if you do a proper bath, he will come out and kiss you again. But, you know, we don't need that. Mm. Anyways, now it's time to wait for Dr. Phil. Oh, also, it's the end of Leo's shift. Oh my god, he's a ghost. And he became a ghost. Nah, I just cut. But it's, <laughs> yeah. He's nothing without his work, quite literally. Dr. Phil... has got a new invention. <laughs> it lets him jump high. <laughs> Finally. He invented moon boots, and now we're gonna take him to space. <laughs> so yeah, the only difference is that now that he has whatever he stole, he does the big jump and actually becomes kissable. Uh, before, did he just do, like, a tiny jump and got sad again? And he just, yeah, he just kind of stood there angry. And get a, you know, some change from him. A pittance. <laughs> and you were right, future friend. It was Mrs. Plum's dentures. Look, he couldn't I have made it. the moon boots without them. It's true. How could he have done it? So now we're just gonna sit in front of the snack shop. Oh, actually, we're not. We've got one more kiss to do before we return these dentures. And it's of the spinning lady. So, <laughs> while she's spinning, you have to spin on the globe. And remember, that does 12 damage. So make sure that you've got some health to spare. Oh yeah, because this seems like a bitch timing was. Yeah, it's like pretty lenient as long as she's not in the air at the time, I think it works. But it's 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 been really finicky for me in other like playthroughs. Mm -hmm. So how much health do you start with again? Was it ten or a five? Five. Okay. Yeah, you really need to grind out those kisses. It takes three or four levels to be able to have the health to even survive one trip around. So if you were to just come down and spin on the globe like early on, you would just fucking die no matter what. Yeah, you'd yeah. become a social outcast. <laughs> it's called a roguelike, Tayok. 
And anyways, that's everyone in the park. So now we're basically done there. But, it's also time to turn in the dentures. So now I want to talk about something horrible about her model. Yeah. Uh, so there's that lump on her forehead. Mm -hmm. But right under there is another giant large lump that what? is her dentures coming out. It is disgusting. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, we kiss her. Uh, <laughs> I don't like this town anymore. Let's move back to the city. <laughs> Man, I feel like Siren's enemy design kind of jumped the shark. Put in the LP list. <laughs> but yeah, there's our kiss with uh, Mrs. Plum. Now we can buy candy from her again. Or we could never go back again. Ever. <laughs> uh, maybe you're right. I don't know if I'd be comfortable with it for it's sure. It's nice that you're more persecuted for being poor than being a mutant in this universe. <laughs> 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 well, if we were a poor mutant, that would be hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, X-Men has so many hot takes about social <laughs> issues. I mean, there's a reason she's always hiding under, like, stacks and stacks of empty jars and shit every time we come in. You just kissed some things you found on the street, didn't you? <laughs> a plum? <laughs> My son a is turtle? cuckoo. Every day just a becomes doll. more and more distressing. <laughs> oh no, is my son a slut? <laughs> <laughs> well, we leveled up. Let's get some extra health. Wow. Oh, wow. We can tank all those rep hits. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, Chorps, look at you. Who, buddy? Honestly, are we an everybody killer at this point? <laughs> hey. Chorps doesn't judge. He'll kiss anyone. <laughs> the weird Al guy didn't actually move out of town, he's just buried somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Rest in Polka. Next time, we'll return to the main story.